starting tomorrow, the state will return to phase three, step one of the reopening process. That means changes for places like restaurants, which must limit sit-down dining to groups of six or less for no more than 90 minutes. And those sitting at the table will have to keep their masks on unless they're taking a bite or a sip of something at that moment. Seating at mall food courts will be closed down altogether as of tomorrow. It's almost certain to be another kick in the economic teeth for restaurants already hit hard by the pandemic. Some restaurants are even opting to close down for the winter with the hope things will be better come spring. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is live for us in Boston tonight with more on these changes. Tiffany. Yeah, Ken, I'm inside Fenway Johnny's right now, and there's not a single customer. And with more restrictions underway, one owner says the business is just not sustainable. They're better off just closing. A tough decision as the state prepares to revert back to the first step of phase three in Governor Charlie Baker's reopening plan. Restaurants like Fenway Johnny's will feel the most impacts. Now, beginning Monday, patrons will have to keep their face masks on unless they're drinking or eating. You won't be able to have more than six people at your table, and your dining experience will be capped at 90 minutes. This is what Fenway Johnny's looked like when the Patriots won their sixth Super Bowl. Owner John Caron says people just aren't coming in like they used to. And with all these restrictions, he's forced to shut the doors until at least the spring. Just the limitations. You know, we people come in for a Patriots game. And uh, the game started at 8.20 the other evening. We had to, you know, push people out. We really did it for the staff and hoped that people would come, but there's just not enough people to make it worthwhile. And those added restrictions coming tomorrow, but Karan says he does have hope that with a vaccine, more people will be eager to come out and dine in the spring. From Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.